Today is a very special day, ladies and gentlemen, as I launch the Fiji's official celebration of World Tourism Day 2017. The UN <clears throat> General Assembly has designated this year as the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development in recognizing the potential tourism has in generating increased economic activity in a sustainable manner. Ladies and gentlemen, World Tourism Day has been celebrated since 1980 and uh, with each year having a specific theme linked to the tourism industry. And this year's theme, Sustainable Tourism, a tool for development, is dedicated to enhancing the contribution of tourism to achieving sustainable development goals. When visiting different booths on, on display today, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see that there is an SDG barometer hanging in front of each, and our operators have been asked to specifically identify and indicate on the barometer which SDG operation that they are contributing to. An activity is organized for today, and over the past few days, it is to raise the awareness on climate change and sustainable tourism development. And through these initiatives, we hope to uh, invoke action to achieve the SDGs. Sustainable development, ladies and gentlemen, is a cross-cutting issue that warrants the commitment of all stakeholders. And in this regard, the Honorable Prime Minister, as the incoming president of COP23, is leading the global charge on climate change, as you're all well aware. These initiatives are part of a national work program, currently being implemented to advocate, educate, and increase awareness of sustainable tourism development principles and practices. It is a partnership where all stakeholders work together in making tourism a catalyst, a catalyst of positive change. An example of the partnership was demonstrated this week when the ministry, together with its uh, partners and visitors, planted coral at the Outrigger Fiji Beach Resort Lagoon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this being said, I wish to remind everyone of the strength of the Fijian tourism industry and the strength lies in its partnership. Our collective efforts have gotten us through some of the most challenging times in our nation's history, and most recent being Cyclone Winston. We have built resilience and cemented our relationships along the way. And given the initiatives alluded to earlier, the ministry depends on the goodwill of all stakeholders and the sense of striving for the greater good. And furthermore, our people and our environment are our greatest assets. The Fiji International uh, Visitor Survey has continued to report that over 80% of visitors rank the people and the hospitality as their most favorable impression of Fiji. Now, Fiji is renowned also, ladies and gentlemen, for its pristine national, uh, natural environment, the crystal clear waters, the white sandy beaches, the tropical rainforests, and the excellent climate. And all of these inspire a diverse range of tourism products from coastal tourism to highland eco retreats and nature adventures, heritage tourism and national parks. And to maintain this environment, we need commitment in all areas, from policy directions to business practices, to community and visitor programs. Now with an industry so intricately connected <coughs> to its natural and social environment, contributing 40% of the economy's GDP, everyone needs to actively play a role in ensuring the sustainable development of our industry. And for the first eight months of this year, we have recorded a total of 545,110 visitor arrivals compared to 511,760 over the same period last year, which is an increase of about 6.5%. Tourism earnings for quarter one, 2017, was recorded at $377.3 million, which is a 10.7% increase compared to the same period last year. We are now reaping the rewards of our hard work and commitment to this industry. And like to especially commend the operators who are directly involved in the day-to-day -day operations and those that are at the front line committed to delivering the impeccable services to our visitors. Your collective efforts make our industry responsive and unique. Your buller smiles and your genuine warmth and hospitality entices visitors to return to our shores. So thank you. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to the industry and you all deserve recognition. 
As we celebrate our achievements, we must remember to let sustainability and innovation be the cornerstone of our progress. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, come back to today's event. We should all strive to be an industry where sustainability becomes an integral part of your business practices. We must ensure that in everything we do, we are holistically contributing to the social, economic, and environmental development of the tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, in commemorating World Tourism Day, we will also be planting trees today. And I'm also happy to mention that close to 100 trees were collectively planted by the Fijian tourism industry during this week. And let us not stop there. So before I conclude, I'd also like to encourage you to take time out to visit the booth displays today here and meet our service providers and take a picture as a memento at the photo booth and try out the rides in our traditional Fijian canoes, which were by all means sustainable. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for being here today. I know I went to get you up really early to be here. And I wish you all a successful and an enjoyable tourism fair and happy World Tourism Day. Now I live with thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our tree party this morning is just... Ministry staff to accompany the chief guests together with our all invited guests. officials are here ready to take you to the draw for your ride so please